Hey! Hey, you! With the Red Bull. Yes. Yes, you. Come here. Come on. Come on. Put down the Red Bull. For God's sakes. You don't need it. No, put it... <sighs> Fine. You can keep it. Whatever. You are going to a convention, right? Do you maybe want some help packing? I think you need some help. Packing for an anime convention can be difficult, right? So we all need a little help. So I made you a list. No, it's okay. The Red Bull's over there. You don't need it. You don't need it right now. Stop pouting. Okay, so I made you this list and we're gonna go shopping, okay? And these are all the essential things that you're gonna need for this upcoming anime convention, okay? It's got food, it's got necessities, it's got all kinds of- why are you scratching your head? It's not that hard to understand, okay? So, are you ready? Wanna go somewhere? Let's go to the most magical place on Earth. No, not Disney World. Try again. Walmart! Yay! Welcome to Walmart! Go on, don't ask questions how I got you here. Just go. Go on. Go on. Good girl. Let's go shopping! Welcome to Walmart! Alright, now that we've gotten you here, let's send some person that's somewhat like a panda to get you a cart. Yes, make her do all the work. That seems just about right. Okay, moving on. So, welcome to Walmart. You've taken the first steps to your anime convention packing venture, okay? Our first stop is going to... What are you doing? Stop. No, turn around. You don't need pretzels. There you go. Okay, back on track. Good job. Good job. First crisis avoided. Anyways, as I was saying, your first stop is going to be the makeup aisle, and this applies to both boys and girls because both boys and girls will be wearing cosplay makeup. So what you're going to want is makeup remover wipes, and you don't want the kind with the acne solution in them because if you try to take off your eye makeup with those, they'll sting very, very badly. So I recommend this Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes. They're very gentle and they do not sting. The next item on our list is something that I have learned throughout the years to bring with me to every anime convention. Whether it's your feet are hurting, or your muscles are sore, or you just get a random headache throughout the day at the convention, which is bound to happen from tiredness, you're going to want to bring some Tylenol, some ibuprofen, something like that that's going to ease all these muscle pains and possible headaches. Trust me, it will be a saving grace for you and maybe anyone else in your hotel room who has these symptoms. So I'm sure we've all heard of the con plague, right? That sickness you get right after going to an anime convention. We know we're going to get sick, it's kind of inevitable at anime conventions. You're around a whole bunch of people and you're wearing out your body by not getting enough sleep. So bring some vitamin C tablets to help boost your immunity during and after the convention. Another must-have emergency item for any anime convention would be band-aids. This can go for blisters, this can go for scrapes, this can go for not the Hello Kitty ones. No! I said no! <sighs> yeah, pout about it more. Just, just get the regular band-aids. Band-aids are going to help you at anime conventions for any emergency you might have, and you'd rather be safe. <sighs> pout about it more. Pout about it more! So this next item is more of a convenience and a luxury item for me at anime conventions. These protein shakes are what I eat for breakfast all the time at anime conventions because, let's face it, you're way too excited to eat any real breakfast, and these will get some protein in you and some energy, and you won't be running on a complete empty stomach every single morning. So when you're at an anime convention, you're bound to get hungry, right? We know anime conventions can be expensive, so that's why my room and I normally stock up on food to eat there at the convention. It's a lot cheaper, and it saves us a lot of money that we can spend in the dealer's room. One of the must-have items in our room, food-wise, is always fruit cups. They're small, but they're delicious, and they're good for you, and they'll give you plenty of really good energy. They can be breakfast or a snack. And, of course, another bonus is that they don't have to be refrigerated. So, what if you spent all your money on cosplay and don't want to go out to eat at all? One of the best bets you're going to get with having an almost meal in your hotel room if you don't have a microwave or anything like that, ramen. Ramen is a wonderful sub- yes, cheddar cheese ramen, yeah, okay, we're gonna get some of that. 
Okay, uh, Sophia's not too happy. Anyways, uh, ramen is really good to have in a hotel room because even if you do not have a microwave in your hotel room, it's possible to use the coffee maker to boil water and then pour the boiling water into the cup of ramen. And voila, you have lunch or dinner. Now, I don't think the saying goes exactly like this, but man cannot survive on ramen alone. So you're going to want to get some other snacks to go with your ramen or anything else that you're taking. I would suggest getting one sweet snack and one salty snack. My personal favorites are Cheez-Its. Yes, Cheez-Its. Not, not the reduced fat ones. Yes, the beautiful Cheez-Its. Okay, so we're gonna grab a box of these and we're going to have these as a snack to just grab a handful of every time we go back to the hotel room. Try to keep something in your stomach at all times throughout the convention. <laughs> As for drinks, I recommend Gatorade. Gatorade is going to keep you hydrated because it's meant to keep you hydrated. And the electrolytes in Gatorade are going to be good for your energy. I think you, wait, what? No, Gatorade, what is that? No, no, not the Red Bull. No, we just, what? we talked about this. No, I'm sorry, you have a problem. <sighs> okay, all right, fine, just, just put it, just make sure to get some Gatorade too. item on my list comes with a disclaimer and a forewarning. Please be careful with 5-hour energies. They are great and they can wake you up in the morning and they can give you that burst of energy you need at the late night hours of the anime convention. However, it is dangerous and it can be very unhealthy. If you're going to have 5-hour energy, please eat some food beforehand. Uh, if you don't, there's a high chance you could get sick, especially if you don't take energy drinks or 5-hour energies regularly. Now that you have all your items, there's only one more step you have to follow. Say hi! <laughs> As sort of a post-it note slash reminder, one thing that I like to do with the groceries is hang one of them on the door. This way, before you leave to pack the car, you will not forget the rest of the groceries that will be inside. So guys, now that I have shared with you my secrets of convention dieting, and by convention dieting I don't mean dieting for the convention, I mean diet because you go to the convention, <laughs> share with me uh, some of the things that you do to save money at conventions. And I would also like to know if you are like me and you bring groceries to cons and stuff like that, comment below and let me know some of your staple items that you bring to cons. I hope you enjoyed my quick tutorial or how-to or guide or thing that uh, I made to help you guys with packing for conventions because I get a lot of questions asking how I afford conventions and along with a couple of other things, one of the main things that helps me afford all the cons I go to is the fact that I we always bring groceries from home. That cuts a lot of costs eating at the convention, uh, eating out of the convention. So that's one of my many tips. If uh, you want to go to many conventions, follow this guide and hopefully you will save some money and stuff. As you guys know, I used to put out the new vlog every Monday. So the Katsukon vlogs are over. Uh, so this video, I guess, is a good way to fill the gap, fill the void that I know you guys are having because you didn't get to see a vlog. have this. So hopefully if all goes according to plans, I will be releasing a new video every single Monday. Holy crap, right? Okay, so for next week's video, I do not have a topic. So if you guys are interested, I will be posting a status or tweeting something I'm sure later on as well, but you can comment below and give me uh, video ideas that you would be interested in hearing. Uh, an FAQ is something that's been coming for a while. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you know you can get to me by Facebook, by Twitter, and even now on Instagram. So, bunny bundles, I will hopefully see you next Monday, okay? Bye! -y!